Today we have a very exciting product to unbox. This is the Pyro SE. And hold on, wait. Before you guys say SE stands for slow edition, which has happened to us so many times in the PC industry. I mean, think back. Even going back as far as like Radeon 9000 series cards, SE meant slow edition or, well, you know, that other four letter word that starts with S, edition. No, this time it means special edition in a way that is not like, special. It means special, like faster. So the difference between the Pyro and the Pyro SE is that instead of using async flash, which would make the regular Pyro equivalent to something like an Agility 3, so that is as pretty much as low end as it gets in terms of Sandforce 2281 uh, SATA 3 6 gigabit per second drives, the Pyro SE uses synchronized flash which gives you essentially better IOPS performance as well as faster sustained reads and writes. So here we're not quite done with the packaging just yet. So what does Patriot have to say for themselves? These are pretty ho-hum sort of things to call out about this drive. I think the stuff on the back is actually better. MLC architecture means we're using MLC flash. Um, I might have said synchronous flash, but okay. SATA 3 technology, okay, that's good. Two and a half inch form factor, but here, here's all the good stuff. Okay, low power consumption, yes. SATA 3, shock and vibration resistant, which all SSDs are. Silent operation, which all SSDs are. And free technical support, which not all SSDs are. So that's kind of cool to have. And you got a three year warranty. And let's go ahead and see what else we got in here. We got a little booklet, which shows us, okay, some like um, specs of the drive, some other more different specs of the drive. Um, hmm, that's interesting. No, I think these are quite generic. Hey, look at that. Installation instructions for computer systems, desktops, and servers, and installation instructions for notebooks. So let's go ahead and take the drive out. This guy's capable of 550 megabytes per second reads, 520 megabytes per second writes, and 85,000 random 4K IOPS. So this is, like I said before, is a very high-end SSD. Uh, the only way to go higher end is to get something like a Patriot Wildfire, which has toggle NAND. So those are the Toshiba flash chips. This is using, I can't actually open it up and find out which synchronous flash they're using, but it would be using some kind of a synchronous flash because guys, there are three grades of flash chips. So right now, in terms of Sandforce controllers, there's only the 2281 on the desktop side. That's pretty much it. So we've got only really one controller. And then from there, it comes down to the quality of the flash chips. So async flash is the cheapest flash. That's the flash that is going to give you slightly less performance. Synchronous flash is more expensive flash than async and it comes with slightly higher performance and then finally at the very top end are toggle chips which are these special Toshiba ones that are even faster. Uh, but the difference between toggle chips and sync flash is not as pronounced as the difference between sync flash and async flash. So uh, this represents kind of the, the bang for the buck option in the middle and it's pretty much standard looking as far as SSDs go. So you got your mounting holes on the side, you got your mounting holes on the bottom depending on how your notebook mounts the drive. Remember you can use this in pretty much any notebook including uh, MacBooks, uh, desk, uh, rather uh, uh, Windows PCs, there's your SATA power, there's your SATA data. So what we're actually going to be using this drive for is for some fraps recording. So uh, that was why we went ahead and unboxed this. We're also going to be looking at using two of these drives. So we have two. I'm going to use the box to represent one of the drives and the drive to represent another one. We're going to run them in RAID and we're going to look at what kind of a performance difference we can get using a dual SSD RAID array versus a larger hard drive RAID array in terms of the read and write pure throughput performance we can get for users who, for example, might be working with very large files, uh, whether it's video editing or image editing. So that's one of the other things that's going to be upcoming on my NCIX Com channel with this particular drive. So thank you for checking out this unboxing, and don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.